What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be taking it back to the roots of the channel. So, I apologize for the shaky camera. Uh, in order to do this video, I need to have an external camera to record. Uh, I don't have my other PC set up to record um, and to do any video footage. Uh, so maybe down the line when I have my, uh, when we build my studio in the garage, then we will uh, have a secondary camera, an external camera to be able to record. But until then, we're going to have to make do with this. Today we're going to be looking at the new T-Rex Miner, seeing the updates that happened because there are some interesting things and in seeing how it affects my LHR card, my specifically my 3060 LHR, because there have been improvements made and uh, I'm seeing a higher hash rate with my 3060 LHR that I've had running on the new T-Rex Miner for well over a day now, uh, I think a day and a half, and you know I've I've wanted to do external or extensive testing on this, and that's why I'm doing the, the video now instead of before when the T-Rex Miner released. So I'm going to take a look at this and talk about what could be going on here. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. A lot of you guys who are not yet subscribed to the channel, hopefully you can subscribe today. And let me know down in the comment section, are you using the new T-Rex Miner? And if you are, are you seeing any improved hash rate on your LHR cards? What LHR cards do you have that you're mining on? So let's go ahead, we're gonna switch the camera over, take a look at the, uh, the mining, and discuss. All right, so as I've said, I've had it mining for well over a day. Uh, we're looking at a day and 11 hours, so like a day and a half currently. Uh, so here's what I've seen. I've seen massive improvements in a stable hash rate. Okay, yes, my LHR says 74, and that's okay. Uh, that's That actually went down from 76.5 down to 74 because I was messing with the overclock settings to see what I can get. Um, that really it doesn't that really doesn't matter too much uh, because it'll be the same hash rate whether it's 76.5 or whether it's 74 that's not a big deal so what we're looking at here is the actual hash rate uh, that we see 36 across the boards every once in a while we'll see a, we'll see a peak of like 37 uh, you see down here 36 36 36 with 35 there 36 uh, 37 so we're seeing the hash rate of anywhere between 36 to 37. If it goes down to 35, it's very, very quick. Uh, like you can see right here, it's a very quick 35. It's a high 35. So not, not a huge deal if it does go down to 35. Uh, we are also getting a, about 5.9 average shares per minute, which is very nice. So that's almost six shares a minute. Um, so I will take it. These are our overclock settings right now. You see right here, this is on my 3060. You'll notice the core clock is turned all the way down. Uh, the memory clock is 1300, power limit's at 71, and my fan speed's at 70. I can increase that a little bit if I want to get a cooler, uh, a cooler temp. But 63C is fine for me, I don't mind that. I mean, it could go up to, honestly, almost 70C would be fine. So. Those, that's what I have going on here. We're gonna go ahead and discuss this. Um, I'm gonna switch it to my normal camera now with my normal microphone so we can go ahead and talk about this further. All right, so what's going on here? So prior to this update, and this update is T-Rex Miner 75 or 75, 25 I think. Um, I'll pull it up right here. It is T-Rex Miner 25.2. So what's going on is that prior to this update, so on 24, uh, on, on T-Rex Miner 24, at any of them, 24.1 or whatever, um, I couldn't seem to get a proper hash rate on my 3060 LHR. And by proper hash rate, I mean I couldn't get to that 35 mega hash. Uh, it was kind of stuck at 32 mega hash. And it, I mean, yes, that's three mega hash, but that's not the full potential of an LHR card when it comes to mining Ethereum. And 
when I updated the T-Rex Miner, I started to notice something. I started to notice that I had freedom to move my uh, my slider on my um, on my overclock settings. Because prior to this update, in order to get my mega hash to even be at 32, I would have to have the, the core clock set at zero. I couldn't treat this 3060, I couldn't treat it like as if it was my 2070 or 2080. On my 2070 and 2080, I have the core clock turned all the way down. I have my power limit turned all the way down. Now, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't treat my 3060 that way. So, it kind of sucked because... One of the benefits to turning your core clock all the way down is you reduce the 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 draw that's on the card. You reduce the temperatures that's on the card. It won't run as hot. The higher your core clock is, the higher your core memory is going to get hot as well. So having that core clock down helps immensely. That's why I'm able to keep my, or one of the reasons why I'm able to keep my 2070 so cold or so cool is my core clock is all the way down. My power limit is all the way down on my 2070 and my 2080. Uh, so, like, for example, on my 2070, I have my core clock all the way down and my power limit down to 50. And my memory clock is at 1250. And I'm mining on my 20, uh, 2070 and 2080, I'm mining Ethereum sitting at 45 mega hash. And I couldn't do something like that with my 3060 at the time. But now I can turn the core clock all the way down. The power limit seems to be finicky. I can't uh, I can't turn the power limit all the way down.